Um, so my first question I have to ask, how's learning the mandolin gone? It's terrible. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it's just so tiny. Yeah, but yeah. we just we kind of figured like we're we usually have a fiddle in the band. And, yes. And our fiddle player wasn't around to come on this trip, so we have uh, our guitar player taking the leads. And sometimes when I'm playing, three guitars is kind of a lot. So yeah. Like, yeah <laughs> take a break for a couple songs, and I'm playing a really simplified mando. So <laughs> yes. It's a train wreck tonight. You can laugh at me. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure we get. <laughs> um, and then, so how do you? honestly have the time to do everything you do i obviously follow you on social media and all this and there's you are constantly posting about all these different things from hosting and <laughs> yeah it's exhausting all that kind of stuff. yeah i can imagine so yeah I'm doing, yeah like i'm doing the the radio doing a morning radio show i'm mm. developing a kids show yes i did see that yeah <laughs> that's cool a lot around the world this year australia and italy and mm. now the uk and yeah, man, I don't know. It's just a lot of plates spinning right now, yes. but uh, it's it's a lot of fun, and it keeps me motivated. You know, it's 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 fun to take a, a brain break sometimes. And, yes, and exactly. Spread, yeah, spread the bandwidth out. Mm. I find it, it kind of refreshes me for all yes. the country stuff. I imagine it's kind of cool. Yeah, to almost go in a different direction creatively as well, and kind yeah. of refreshes you that way. Well, I found that when I get into like I pr- produce a lot of music for other people, mm. like producing rock records and, oh, and other things like that. Mm. Just, yeah, get that out of my system. <laughs> yes, get exactly. Back to yeah, scheduled program. <laughs> yeah. Um, and obviously, even still, um, kind of a couple of years now after the UK's started to adopt country music, we don't really associate it with Canada. So, how is it like, kind of being a, a country musician from that country? Obviously, of course. Well, you know what's so funny is like in Canada, we feel like it's it's. 100% our identity. Yeah. Because <laughs> we have way more open spaces than America. Yeah, yeah true. <laughs> so where I'm from is it's the Canadian prairie, so it's nothing but wheat fields, and there's, you know, there's oil there, cattle farming. Mm. So it's it's pretty country. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. I mean, it's, we don't have southern accents, but we, uh, we I think yes. the, the lifestyle is, has always been there. And, uh, you know, for me, I did rock music for so long, mm. and then one day it was just kind of opening up that door I kept closed, and I had the <laughs> yes. banjos, the twang stored away, and... Yeah, so it's 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 there, and uh, we feel like Canadian country competes on the global scene pretty well. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, there's obviously plenty here this weekend. There's been plenty since. Um, obviously, it's interesting you say that because um, I spoke to Tim Hicks last year, and he had a pretty similar story of kind of starting off rock and yeah, all that kind of thing. And obviously, you just did a song with him, which is pretty cool. So, how yeah. did that come about? Well, Tim and I have been writing together a lot. Like, I co-wrote his. Uh, Tom Petty song that was just played on BBC. Yes, song yeah, I saw that. It's cool. And he's co-written a bunch for my record. That's and uh, Yeah, you know, he's just a guy that I feel a bit of akin to. You know, he's, he's a hard worker. He's a, he's grinding. He's he, and we're not we're not on the label scene as much. So no, we, so yeah. We're kind of we have our own paths that we're trying to forge. So I, I just felt like a lot of respect and, and uh, admiration for him. Mm. And um, yeah, you know, it was just kind of. It just made sense because we were working together a lot, and I was playing in Australia. I just signed this deal. Yes, he was going down right away. That was sick. So I just the stars kind of lined up, you know. Yeah, one of those. That was good. Uh, and then I saw you all sold out right on Sunday in York. Yeah. Yes, that must be cool. a pretty cool feeling, first, right? Yeah. First time we've done a, a sold out show in, in the UK, and it's a, it's a small one, but it's mm. like it's going to be a fun like songwriters kind of night where we yes. have to tell some stories and make some bad jokes. <laughs> yeah. That's, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. I've been to New York before. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's, it's a nice city, so I awesome. think you'll have a, a blast, yeah. Um, is this your first time really kind of playing much over here then, or have you done... I've done C2C, and I've oh, done cool. Uh, cool. Buckle and Boots, and I think that's it. I think I've mm. done the two trips before. Yes. But it's been great, man. Like, the, the fans are really starting to catch on. You yeah. Know, it's really becoming a thing here. Mm. So that's that's why I hope they can tell. Like, I'm trying to commit to the market and be here. Exactly, and, and yeah. support and, you know, try to be part of it. Mm. Is there anything kind of you've spotted that's a bit different over here compared to at home in terms of the scene? or? Yeah, I find that UK country fans are a little more Americana focused. Like, that's mm. kind of sort of, I think, how they... They suck themselves into country a little bit with, yes. <laughs> through the Americana route, um, and that's cool. You know, I, I think that 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 leads to a lot of fun in the live show because you can you can pull from so many different influences. Yeah, that true. Way, so. mm. Yeah, that's the big thing. But you know, other than that, that, there's not a whole lot of big festivals like like this one. Yes. So I hope that you know I hope that other promoters out there can just see how yeah. how, how cool this is. It there. would be yeah cool keep, to get some more yeah for sure. I keep seeing a couple kind of popping up in Europe now as well, so that'd be cool to yeah, yeah kind of tie it all together. Ones, but uh, yeah, we've done a bunch in France and and Spain, mm. so it's it's been cool. Yes, yeah. 
Um, and then obviously it's been a few years since your last kind of uh, album, like full album. Are you planning on doing anything longer form anytime soon or are you sticking to the more EP kind of format or? Uh, yeah, like, I kind of like the EP things. It's mm. just like, you know, a little more bite sized so it's a little more like the EP sounds more current, I find. Yeah, true. So, yeah, I, I, I mean, I released one in October and uh, now I'm in the studio kind of working oh, on so, a new one yeah. and trying to figure out what's what the next move is. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. It kind of lends itself a lot more to the current format as well of music, I find. Totally, like, yeah. It's, people digest stuff so fast now. Yeah, so gotta, exactly. Kinda, that's why, you know, see Post Malone just dropped 12 surprise tracks. <laughs> yeah, and, right. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was nuts. Um, and are you planning on, I know it's obviously early days, have you got any plans to come back here anytime soon? Or I sure would like to, you know, that's a big part of coming here. Like I'm playing a, the front porch stage and doing an yes. acoustic trio thing. So kind of, I've been trying to get their attention for a while. <laughs> yeah. So now that I'm, I have this, I, I want to, you know, really plant the seed and see mm. if I can get back and get on That'd the main cool. stage. Yeah. I mean, you're doing two as well, right? Yeah. You're tomorrow as well. Tonight and then tomorrow early. So yeah. 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 Not a lot of time between, I saw. No, it'll <laughs> be hard like... sleeping tonight. Yes. <laughs> Um, and then just as a last question, I have to ask whether it's on or off record. As kind of a, a rock and emo fan myself, yeah. any clues on this cover that you're oh, kind yeah. of teasing? <laughs> well, I'll just do. tell you straight up. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm doing like a, a Death Cab for Cutie cover. So oh, cool. Do, I will follow you into the dark with kind of country banjos and dobros. Oh, that sounds like a really yeah, cool. Yeah, so it'll yeah. be cool. It's just like a little bonus for fans. Something yes, like, I just exactly. I like the song. I thought it would sound cool, so just threw it together. And yeah. I'm really happy mm. with it. I think I'm, it's, yeah, it's I'm definitely curious to hear how it kind of fits in with this sort of sound. Yeah, for sure. It'll be different, but I, I have a feeling it actually it'll really work with mm. the UK country fans. Yeah, so, I'm looking forward to that. There we go. Awesome. Uh, well, that's all I've got anyway. Sweet, so, man. Well, thanks nice for you, taking Joe. a little time out. Yeah, you do. So let's all the night, but we can't do it over.